Hi and welcome to the channel. The, this video serves two functions. It's an insight into getting the FTDX10 on VHF and UHF using transverters. It's also an update on my uh, VHF UHF contesting setup. Uh, regulars to the channel know I'm a, a keen contester. If you watch the link above that shows the 145 Alive event which gives an insight into my external portable hardware. If you watch that video there's a link at the end to come back here so you can't get lost. Uh, this video is more about the FTDX10 and uh, transverters. So this is the FTDX10 with the Q5 uh, transverter. Uh, this is the uh, two meter module and it can give up to uh, 150 watts. It's configured uh, for this rig up to 10 watts in uh, and I run it at uh, between five and seven uh, and you can set the uh, the settings for HF on the FTDX10 uh, if I uh, you can't get beyond nine watts I've set it to nine watts max so we'll go down to five uh, and get up to nine uh, but I run it on seven so you get the full uh, HF uh, facilities as you would expect uh, it's just you need to do a mental conversion. So this is 144237 and if I want to get up to the FM part of the band um, in fact if I put it on FM first it'll scroll a bit quicker and put that in the centre. Uh, so if we get into 29 so here in the UK 29500 is uh, the FM calling frequency and I could uh, I think turn on steps here uh, to, to get this to follow 12 and a half or, or 25 kilohertz. So somewhere down here uh, should be the FM UKC contest uh, already underway. You can see there I'm waiting for the uh, USB, uh, sorry, the uh, all mode uh, sideband contest to start. Uh, the display is not coming out well on the floor and this is very purpley and and fluorescent but it, you know what an FTDX10 display looks like and unfortunately the sun's coming through the front of the car so these are the uh, FM stations so again 29 sorry 28650 so that's 144650 uh, the FM contest takes place uh, down in the middle of the uh, two meter allocation. Uh, normal FN channels uh, up here, so they're the simplex channels. Uh, and it's as simple as that. And uh, I'll show you the, uh, if I go back down to, down to a clear frequency on sideband. Uh, and give a whistle, you'll see the uh, transverter uh, give out power as well as transmit light and you get the usual display down there on the FDX10 they can go into the multi with all the usual features uh, and on a whistle on there you go, whistle on 7 watts in about 100 watts out um, so that's the front of the transverter in the setup so this is the uh, the sharp end. We've got the antenna coming in uh, from the SWR meter. Uh, power to the transverter. Depending on how you uh, get this configured at manufacture, uh, you can have separate TX. Uh, here I've got uh, combined TX and RX. Uh, and you can have a, an IF out. This is the IF from the rig. So this BNC short patch lead into the FTDX10. I've got a PTT connection to ground when the, the rig keys, it grounds the, on the linear uh, and that keys that. There are other uh, options in the design and build of the Q5 uh, and uh, I'll, I'll put them in a, in a separate uh, clip. Uh, I've also got in the rig here my foot switch for my programmed uh, CQ call. Uh, if you've seen previous videos, there's a few niggles with the FTDX10 when it comes to uh, on-screen facilities when you're trying to try to run a contest. So um, that's the the rear of the of the transverter on this model. Anyway, these things 
Um, that's got a BNC on. Uh, these rear settings can be configured differently. It's also uh, got a built-in sequencer as well. So if you are sequencing uh, masthead preamps and so on, uh, that's, that's built in as well. So just to explain my progression in rigs, I started off with a 991A, which is it's a great multi-mode rig, love that rig, but not the best for amplifying on VHF and UHF. Uh, the signal wasn't as clean as it could be, so I temporarily migrated to this TS2000 as a, a stopgap, but it's generally accepted the best way to put out a clean, a good signal on, on VHF and UHF is using a good HF rig and a good uh, transverter, hence... Uh, the FTDX10, which has good reviews, and the uh, Q5 transverter series. Hello CQ, hello CQ, Golf Zero Charlie November November Portable, Golf Zero Charlie November November Portable, calling CQ and bye for any calls. And, uh, sorry, the name is Ian, uh, India Alpha November Ian, and uh, and yeah, you're coming down here great. So uh, I'd, 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 I'd say if I turn the beam round, you would be well over nine. So as I said, the Q5 transverters come in various models. Uh, and various sizes. Uh, so here we've got the 150 watt 2 meter uh, on the right. Uh, so that's a transverter with built in amplifier and preamp. Uh, and there's also a 75 and a 25 watt version. And on the left, just showing the rear, this is the uh, 70 SEMS uh, 25 watt version. So you can see a uh, lot smaller, uh, there's less, less cooling required. Uh, there's also a 50 watt and 100 watt version, but as I've still got my uh, amplifier, uh, my microset amplifier, this this drives uh, the microset, uh, and I run this on on low power to feed to feed the amplifier. So the rig the rig feeds the 77 transverter, and the transverter feeds the amplifier. Um, lots of configuration options. Uh, Q5 LLC, your American company. Uh, the the IF uh, the the drive power um, there's there's various things you can specify uh, when you order order one of these uh, and the uh, the built-in preamp uh, and effectively built-in amplifier uh, the uh, it's an all-in-one unit and it works really well uh, on my FT DX10 and just to show you underneath there is adjustment. Uh, for RX and TX, so the the drive level, both of the uh, the amplifier transmitting and the uh, the preamp receiving. So, uh, and you get all setup instructions as well. Uh, very very easy to configure. Now I haven't got a picture of this in action, but this is my my customized transverter amplifier stacking device. So this sits on top of the uh, FTDX10. Uh, the 70 sems transverter sits in there, and it's got room for the cables at the back. And then the amp uh, sits on the top. So I've got a, a triple stack for when I'm on uh, 70 sems. I hope you found the video interesting or, or perhaps even useful. Uh, that was an insight into my latest contesting setup. Uh, and just to finish with, here's a, a cracking picture of the moon I took on the night of that contest. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. It all helps and goes towards promoting the channel. 73.